Welcome back to Instables. I hope you guys are having a blessed weekend. I wanted to go over exactly what may happen going into this week. Again, we have debt ceiling, uncertainty. Again, Biden and the GOP definitely not agreeing on what's going on at this point in time. Back and forth, back and forth. Many news updates that have been coming out. One of the many updates has been that Biden doesn't necessarily see any possible deal soon. And then we have the GOP mentioning that there's possibilities of Biden not caring about the debt ceiling getting resolved. So there's a lot of back and forth. What exactly we're looking for as we do have possible resistance coming up at $26 with our EME lines crossing above here on our MACD show. And it's that possible shift back into bullish momentum. But is this a false break as we have again lingering debt ceiling uncertainty? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for from here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news before market open as early as you're going to find it here again with SDA coming in again this last Friday. A very nice spike that we had out the gate. Again, spiking up 10% mentioning out the gate. Continued on above pre-market high that we were looking for. And continued on all the way to $8.00. And 28 cents on the day. Again, a very nice run that we have the Instables here running over 25% out the gate. Go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a break alert today. Again, let's jump into this one. So jumping into the spot with you guys here again, looking at our daily candle structure, what we do not have here is a bull flag, but one thing we do have here is consolidation after a spike, and we are just below our prior close that we had again, just below our prior close, looking to see if we can hold our prior close again at 419, looking to see if we can possibly continue on back above 420, and then continue on above our high of week, looking to see if we can possibly hold this high of week here at 421 if we can continue on above 421 then we can assume that we may be looking for a continuation again in my opinion what i would be looking for as far as a disciplined trader would be looking to see if we can possibly get any possible bearish momentum again with possible gaps that we can fill to the downside to retest our 10 day moving average leading into fed minutes on wednesday is what i would be looking for looking to see if we can possibly get that retest get that bullish candle structure that we are looking for again as you guys can see we did have a bounce off of our 10 day moving average we did not have an engulfing candle we did not have that bullish candle structure and again still here without a bull flag again still sitting on a pullback just below our prior close that we had so again looking to see if we can get back above our prior close that we had on our momentum candle and then continuing on higher is a possible continuation but again with our rejection that we have coming up at 431 and with the larger gap up that we will have if we continue on past 431 is going to be the overall watch so again if we continue on past 431 we have possible gaps to the upside that we may be looking for so again 431 really is that stronger level that we're looking for again i do like that we close just above our prior balance high again on a pullback here with our red candle again red candles opening higher closing lower here so again we're closing exactly on support here looking to see if we will possibly continue to respect our prior balance high here at 418 or if we will possibly get any possible continuation on this retest again if we get a possible consolidated play where we do hold above 418 on tuesday and wednesday then we could possibly continue on higher with fed minutes again we will see exactly what happens again with debt ceiling news that very much is predicating exactly where we do head short term Leading into Fed Minutes, in my opinion, will be the watch. Again, we mentioned any major news in the Instables room that you want to be watching. As you guys can see here on the one-hour chart, looking at our intraday perspective, closing just below our prior balance high. So again, this could be a possible bear flag that will continue on lower on the one-hour chart, or this will possibly be a bounce back that we will see on a possible continuation again above our high that we had here for that continuation. So again, that's what we're looking for from here. We have a 420 level that we would be looking to see if we can get that retest in my opinion if we did continue on higher from again getting that retest will be that possible entry on that bullish candle structure on a possible engulfing candle off of support that we had a rejection from again making sure that we do keep that level on watch is going to be our possible support if we continue on higher but from here closing just below our prior balance high here looking to see if we will possibly continue on back below our 50 day here which would be that retest here that we had on our continuation and again that continuation was confirmation on that spike above our prior balance high so again now we're looking to see if we will possibly hold 418 to the downside or possibly hold 420 to the upside that is our intraday play now looking at our weekly chart looking at our swing perspective again we have been keeping an eye 
on our symmetric triangle here again this has been the watch here and the reason why as you guys can see we came back lower we mentioned that this is very significant that we are very much testing not only our 10 weekly moving average but very much bouncing off of it yesterday and sure enough again we did have a spike we did continue this morning in pre-market now testing our prior balance looking to see if this will be a rejection candle going into next week or if this will possibly be that pullback possible wick to the downside for that possible momentum candle and continuation leading his fed minutes next wednesday again that is the weekly watch here we do like that we are continuing to respect our 10 weekly moving average we have been talking about our bullish momentum that we have been looking for and sure enough we have been getting that continuation on these bounce backs nice pullbacks that we've been having throughout the last couple weeks and again since we did cross lower with our 21 and our 50 we have been selling off now crossing back higher here continue to respect our 10 weekly moving average looking to see if we will continue on with bullish momentum leading into next week in my opinion will be key leading into fed minutes what i would be expecting in my opinion is for there not to be too much added than what powell mentioned if we in my opinion we're going to have much to add then powell probably would have mentioned it and fed minutes may not have much data to add which would be possibly neutral and neutral could be that neutral response up to 431 so again if we do get to 431 we will have nice short plays on that retest in my opinion before we do possibly even continue on into that gap up above 431 so again making sure we are cautious leading into fed minutes will be key but making sure we get bullish candle structure above our prior balance will be the watch now again with that said if you are a day trader if you're looking for pre-market news that you want to be watching before market open any volatile movers at very key levels that we mentioned in the instables room again go to instables.com in the description below and for only 15 dollars a month you will never miss a breakout alert today again and again all of you instables again very cautious to the upside but very much looking for proof of concept if we are going to continue on higher if we do get proof of concept to the downside then we will be looking for that possible pullback but however at this point in time holding above our prior balance high looking to see if we will possibly retest our prior resistance we'll look for that possible bullish candle structure if we get that possible engulfing candle going into tomorrow again with fed minutes coming in this wednesday we'll see exactly what happens and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless every one of you guys and i'll see you guys in pre-market